Everything that we know and love is reducible to the absurd acts of chemicals, and there is therefore no intrinsic value in this material universe. Hypocrite that you are! For you trust the chemicals in your brain to tell you they are chemicals. All knowledge is ultimately based on that which we cannot prove. Will you fight, or will you perish like a dog? Oh my god, Ansem's here. <laughs> Speaking of Ansem, uh, I think this is supposed to be his machine he made for making Heartless yeah. or something. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This machine just it's looks cool and it's got some <laughs> vague, cool words to read on it. Uh, like 20 years later, a Kingdom Hearts mobile game made this machine way more significant and important. <laughs> He, he submitted that to the patent office and they sent it back with a note. Why? Why did you make this? <laughs> no one else is going to make this. You don't need a patent. <laughs> it's just common sense. I guess I got to pay people to come see my machine. I don't know. Also, here's uh, the Trinity Limit move we learned from the Hades Cup. Jesus. It basically just kills everything on the screen most of the time, unless they do something like this guy, where he teleported for a brief second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's very strong, but the downside to it um, is it uses up all MP from all of your party ah. members. Uh, so that sucks. But it's pretty cool looking. This should help. So, we've been at the point where we've kind of ran out of new Disney stuff that this game is going to sure, adapt. Yeah. But we have... We've been talking about children's books yep. instead. We have one more bit of Disney representation. Mm. Oh, hell yes! Oh, hell yes! Oh, hell yes! Oh. Have you watched this segment lately? I have not. Okay, I think it is, uh, you know what? I'm gonna say it, it's better than Bambi. Oh my God. I love this segment. <laughs> uh, the transition into Ave Maria is the big finale. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like every, all of the Fantasia segments have their own unique like feel and look and this one's very like uh, Soviet or Eastern European to me yeah yeah I really love the choice of having Chernobog here because uh, in a lot of Square Enix games and especially Final Fantasy games if the final dungeon is like, oh, you're going to the edge of reality or something like that, frequently sure. you'll fight a lot of like mini bosses along the way to the final boss that are like beasts of legend that exist outside of reality and stuff like that. Like you're, you're fighting these weird mythical creatures at, and all that. And Chernabog is like the closest thing to that that you could throw mm -hmm. in a Kingdom Hearts mm -hmm. dungeon and get the same feel. I love it. Also, a weird thing is uh, when this game released in Japan, uh, this song didn't play. It was just one of the default boss fight themes. It wasn't until is it came it, out in America that they put... public domain! This right? is classical music! I don't know why it's not there, so I like when you get the rights, but... I mean, thank God they put it in. It makes this fight way better. <laughs> Just like those children's books, a lot of Disney mobile games use this guy as like the big. They want a mm -hmm, Thanos mm -hmm. figure, and that's they always go to him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. Ooh. And yeah, it's you just it just your your glide ability uh, in worlds where you cannot fly just gets upgraded so that you fly about as fast as you do in like Neverland. Mm -hmm. You know, you still can't fly indefinitely, but it's just way it's really quick now. 
I, I thought it was just something that you, you put on so your clothes don't chafe with, with mm. all this activity. It's a bonus. It's a, mm -hmm. a secret uh, part of the ability, yeah. I love this part in Silent Hill too, when you just keep jumping down more and more holes. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my goodness! And just, just like before, this very much has the feel of like a a, a very old dark ride. Yeah. Right. I I love these sequence of rooms because yeah, even as a kid, I thought shortened bits painted on the walls. It's very good. Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> the final dungeon loves having you fight this guy. It's a reference to that bit in Mr. Toad's Wild Ride where a giant monster steps on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, from doing so much optional stuff, this guy dies pretty quick. <laughs> Look, look at Bo Goofy sticking that booty out. <laughs> Damn. He's got a real arc to his back. Like. <laughs> yeah, he throws that thing back. Damn. <laughs> oh. I love your flaming sword. It's yeah. very good. Thanks, Sephiroth, for the cool sword. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, you know, Sephiroth gives, you know, he, th this one-winged angel keyblade. It doesn't mm -hmm. quite look like what you would imagine. It's because it's actually not really taking design elements from Sephiroth, but from a, th a, a, a uh, ability he has much later in the original Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so it's more referencing the, like, the logo of the game in instead mm -hmm. of uh, Sephiroth himself. If you were to get a weapon inspired by Sephiroth, one would expect it to clear a room in a swing. <laughs> yeah. They can't just, they, they just can't balance around that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't really talked about them yet, but yeah, there is one other new enemy type in this area, and it's those weird little angel things with like glass bodies. Mm -hmm, They're mm -hmm. a pretty weird design that I like. Uh, and yeah, the, the other ability these guys have here with the big swords is that they stab their sword into the ground, they just turn into an aura, and then they can possess one of you. <laughs> and if you don't jump at a certain point, that they will just do a good amount of damage to you. Yeah, these Why guys. Does Ansem have the time to write his little nonsense? Mm hmm. Somebody had to be pulling a lot of levers on that machine to make all these guys. Yeah. Is it automated? Uh, there's a lever that he uh, pulled down, and then he weighed it down with a brick and string. If I had a make evil army machine, <laughs> I would not give it a set it and forget it setting. Cause like That is pretty, yeah. What if I get stuck in traffic? What am I coming home to? I can't risk that. <laughs> yeah. Sure, they're all loyal to you, but you gotta feed them. Mm -hmm. There's only so many living people with hearts in the universe. <laughs> it's gonna smell in there. It's yeah. gonna smell pretty bad. So yeah, the the heartless are just kind of like endless spawns. You just have to fight them until this whole emblem breaks apart. Mm -hmm. You've destroyed the truck nuts. Aw. Oh. So once you go through here, like if we take a couple more steps forward, there's a door that leads us to the final boss. Uh, but there's still one more secret heartless with rare drops to get, and it's in the room we just came from. <laughs> Sometimes these guys will spawn. These are like the edgy teenage versions of the little Damn. cute shadow guys. Let go! Wow. They're all lanky and, and, yeah, Teenage Heartless. Um, Teenage Heartless opened for uh, In Excess <laughs> one time. Great show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go! 
to get the rare drops from these guys, uh, you just have to take uh, the majority of them out. Uh, if you get hit by them too much, they each one will like start to disappear over time. Mm -hmm. and that, that's basically it. Um, they're really fast. They're kind of irritating to fight, which is why I just use Strike Raid over and over so they cannot hurt me. <laughs> um, and they have a move here because they're, they're always like jumping out of the ground. Uh, if you're standing over one of these little black portals when it opens, they'll just grab Sora by the feet mm. and just like pin him down so he can't do anything. Seems like an easy thing to do. Yep, there you go. They're basically giant handles. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Got a lot of straps from the hook their little claw thingies in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they, they drop a, a rare item that we're going to need to make the, the most, the, the ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon. Which also means, hey, let's go to Traverse Town. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, we're here at the end of the world. Uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, 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 you know, I just remembered those Moogles offer to make me the best sword in the universe, so... <laughs> it sounds like a really good thing to have. That up. Right? I gotta take him up with that kind of offer. Goodbye, nameless man. I'm gonna Bye. go in your attic. <laughs> I hope Sid pays you well. Uh, three elements. final weapons for one for e everybody. Yeah, the seven elements. Wow, really, that looks awful. <laughs> yeah, uh, really high uh, max MP for Goofy, so it's really good if you want to have Goofy just heal everybody all the time. Uh, we got a rod for Donald that I thought was called Fantasia. It is not. It's called Fantasista. <laughs> 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 Also, yeah, the Moogles congratulate you when you make everything. Yay. Oh, you're a master synthesist. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's correct. Ah, uh, ah, ah, yanking ah. our chain. Yanking our big old wallet chain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah here's the, the weapon for Fantasista. Donald. Fantasista. Uh, this is the best one if you want Donald to do just magic. And of it's course, also the best one if you're looking for cover art for an mm -hmm. encyclopedia on CD. So the ultimate weapon for Sora is an actual real sword with a keyblade frame built on top of it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's also two other weapons I didn't get for doing like the, the time trial and Sora only runs of the Hades Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, those are for Goofy and Donald respectively ah. called Save the King and Save the Queen. <laughs> Mmm. For Daisy. Yep. Yeah, look at this thing. There's just a real ass sword in there. <laughs> That's why it's the ultimate weapon. <laughs> this one actually has a cutting edge. <laughs> and, of course, before we go back to the final dungeon, Final Mix added in one more secret boss fight. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> so that's why this video is so long. <laughs> yep. Yep. So yeah, we gotta go see the, the princesses one more time. Uh, Cause in this room, just a, a new evil portal has formed a couple feet oh, away from nuts. them. They're just, they're just like, mm, that looks bad. <laughs> Is there any way of knowing this um, aside from doing like one last, like check up on everything route? No, not really. <laughs> Because, like, they don't have your phone number or anything. <laughs> yeah. There's no gummy phone yet. Um, yes, this additional secret boss fight is mm. another tradition Kingdom of Hearts has, a lot of them, where if the game gets re-released later on with extra stuff, the extra boss fight they put in is always a mysterious sequel bait boss fight. <laughs> of course. Yep. Also, Beast is here for some reason. <laughs> he just <laughs> go away. He thinks Beast. you're friends. Oh, K King Mickey, I've I've definitely heard of him. He yeah. he sent me. Uh, he's he's like eight feet tall, right? <laughs> That, that guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like a hyper-realistic looking rat, right? 
<laughs> Who are you? I am Sam. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just all super cryptic, super vague dialogue just to spurn the theory crafting from the fan base for the next, until the next game is out. <laughs> Test your strength. Are you ready for hard mode? <laughs> so yeah, this guy's pretty hard. He's just called unknown. He's got mm -hmm. lightsabers. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I do like those. Uh, I still think Sephiroth is harder, but this guy's pretty close. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so, do we think Lance Bass could take him? Hmm. How close is Lance Bass to beating Sephiroth? You know, I think Lance Bass probably gets halfway through the fight. It's, it's when that phase change comes up with, like, mm -hmm. Sephiroth shooting all the meteors everywhere. That's probably where it gets him. I, I think if Lance Bass really just spent the couple extra hours to, to level up a bit more, he could do it. But he's so busy. He is, you know. Look, again, if Lance Bass... He had his health scare <laughs> a while back. You don't want to, you know. Yeah. He had a lot of other stuff on his mind. By the way, that move that just happened there where Sora got grabbed by, like, an electric beam, uh, there's an extra mechanic that happens with that move. Uh, to escape from it, all the different menu commands in the bottom left turn into, like, a roulette where every single option is, like, shock, so if you select it, you'll get hurt. But there's uh, one command that says release that's constantly switching rapidly between all his commands, so you have to, like, oh, come grab on. it. Yep. That's just lightsabers, though. Right? He, like, there's no <laughs> handle, they just come out of his palms, but those are fucking lightsabers, dude. There's no way they made that guy and didn't think, we need a guy that has lightsabers. <laughs> Who is he? What's he here for? We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. Look, we already have his basic uh, character traits written down for the next game. He does tons of flips, lightsaber hands. Done. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. This is vaguely familiar with Ansem. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is everyone else in this game at this point. <laughs> Psych, I still have 30 more HP bars in the sequel. <laughs> I'm not showing you those ones. <laughs> Wait, what are you? Buy my game. <laughs> I am selling pre-orders. December 2nd, 2006. Remember that date, <laughs> or something like that.
And of course, one more handsome report. Lucky 13! Hey. All right! And also, yeah, the experience necklace he drops just boosts your ex the amount of experience you get by like 50% or something like All that. Right, now, is this going to be the most cryptic or the most direct? Mm. Cryptic! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this seems actually very clear, but not relevant to anything in this game. Yeah. This okay. is all stuff you would learn about more in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, it is strange when they're like, oh, if your body dies here, does it go to another world? <laughs> and like, I know he means something mystical, like like yeah. heaven or a land beyond, but the other world could just be like the three caballeros are dancing <laughs> around. Like, Yeah, and your body just falls from the sky there, yep. What world means in this game is already pretty clearly defined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay. It's actually final boss time now. Careful! Ooh. You better save your game! <laughs> no, I think it's this kick-ass sword I just got. <laughs> Have you looked at it? There's a real sword in this thing! Yeah, they, they don't sell that one at, uh, at mm -hmm. conventions. That's nope. dangerous. <laughs> I paid the Moogle under the table for this one. Like, this... You don't want this documented anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there, there should be, like, a, a little orange zip tie dangling on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, so Aladdin's still poor because he only owns a house. Yeah. Sora owns an island. Yep. This world has been connected. What was that? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. There is something very strange there is so mm -hmm. very much about fire. this big crossover experiment so where connecting these worlds is explicitly the <laughs> bad guy's plan. <laughs> yeah. Your job is to keep everything <laughs> nice and separate and understand. seal Why? away the connections mm -hmm. because that way lies darkness. <laughs> Here is Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we fixed this shit. <laughs> Stay hey. out of my boy. Hey. Stay out of him. No. <laughs> Be your own smelly old man self. No. Take a look at this tiny place. To the heart seeking freedom, this island is a prison surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from his prison. He sought a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. Riku! Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness. And all so end. The heart is no different. Oh, they just Darkness have to turn out the lights in the theater for the projector to work. You're, you're reading too much into it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true. What? The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. 
I will stab myself so many times, creepy man. <laughs> so you have come this far, and still you understand nothing. You could have been a Every bit more direct in your face. journals. <laughs> Every heart returned to darkness. So Ansem has a stand. Yes. <laughs> It's a pretty good one, too. Yeah. I like the look of this guy. He's pretty good. Uh, it's just called the Guardian, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, the Guardian does a lot of Ansem's attacks for him. Uh, also, he'll have Guardian come out in front to deflect attacks. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, this is literally a stand, though. Oh yeah, my god! <laughs> right? Can't you see this thing doing a big ass punch rush? This this is JoJo's bizarre venture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> guardian. So yeah, there isn't too much with the the first Ansem fight here. You just gotta go behind him if his guardian goes out to the front. Uh, there's uh, an attack here where he can grab you. Uh, mm. And his stand will possess you. Oh no! And it will randomly change the attack command to freeze. So if you try to attack, you'll just freeze in place. Mm. Uh, and the stand will also sometimes randomly just like burst out of you to hurt you, no matter like no oh. matter what. <laughs> I, I do like the idea of like. Uh, Attacks messing with your UI like that. Yeah. Uh, this, I mean, that's two in this video. Like, yeah. we're, we're getting to the end game. They're getting serious here. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts 2 does a lot more with that idea okay. in some pre. Yeah. There, Kingdom Hearts 2 has a lot of, uh, like, unique boss fights with, like, unique mechanics that happen nowhere else, and a lot of that happens around that UI in the bottom left. robot. Come on, big robot. Oh, imagine a big robot big heartless. Robot. Is my mom still here? <laughs> no, she's on a different island, remember? Wait, all right. <laughs> Did that technically count as a different world? All right, now we got to go in the gummy ship. Go back to Alice in Wonderland world, because mm. there's mm -hmm. a secret boss that has just <laughs> been unlocked in this moment. Yes! Hold on, Ansem. Please wait. It's the guy! It's the guy! It's this guy! It's the guy from the very, very beginning! Mm -hmm. You fought this guy before you even started playing the game, really. <laughs> uh, his HP and, like... He hasn't really changed much. He has a little bit more HP, but we have the Ultima weapon, so he dies in, like, less than a minute. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but I'm very excited to see him all the same. Yeah, this guy's cool. And he's one of those heartless that, you know, wasn't m like made in a factory. He's just a natural made spooky guy. Like, what was that beginning? Like Sora having a prophetic dream, I guess? Yeah, yeah. He saw this coming. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that's fun. That's good. Yeah, now it's a one-on-one -on -one fight with oh. Ansem, and... So are pretty much all the big boss fights, like, come on Yeah, now. pretty much. <laughs> but, yeah, it's all the moves from the first phase with a whole bunch of extra ones. Uh, this is actually kind of a hard boss fight, uh, especially if you're just, you know, not doing what I did and doing every single optional thing, which makes mm -hmm. you, like, 15 to 20 levels higher than you normally would be at this point. Now, what if I made it to level 99 before leaving this island the mm. first time? How, how how does this fight go then? Uh, Ansem gets on the floor and bows down to you, and the game just turns off. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if the credits don't roll, it doesn't actually count as beating it, so that's not really recommended. Right. Yeah. Submit. Yeah, in this phase, he tries to possess you with his stand 
all the time, which makes this fight way harder if it happens. Thankfully, he telegraphs it pretty good, but... I like that his stand just sort of tickles you a little bit. Yeah. I'm just going to pick you up by one arm and one leg like a... Like you're wrestling your uncle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's also got this move where he dashes around a bunch. I think this is probably one of the things that made this fight really frustrating, especially if you're playing this as a kid, because it's a move that basically expects you to know what iframes are while rolling. <laughs> it's really hard to avoid it otherwise. <laughs> Uh, also, funny thing, since we're fighting Ansem here, who's voiced by Billy Zane, uh, sure. there was, at some convention several years ago, some fan asked him, like, hey, do you remember voicing this guy called Ansem in Kingdom Hearts, like, 20 years ago? Uh, and he did. He said he really liked voicing Ansem, and then he drew Ansem on the spot pretty good for just recalling a guy, he, an uh, anime character he voiced from 20 years ago. He gets, like, the general silhouette and fashion of him, like, pretty spot on. Wow. Like, like this Ansem, not, not World's Tell's Jawa Ansem? Right, right. Wow. Yeah, right? Um, I would definitely go easy mode and not have to do a face. <laughs> well, the face is a little vague, but he gets the hair and the clothes. And, sure, and sure, yeah. It's, it's pretty impressive. But, uh... Apparently, Billy Zane at some point said, like, he would have loved to you know, voice and some more in Kingdom Hearts and their random spin-off things where they add more backstory to Ansem and that shit where Billy Zane could have voiced him. Mm -hmm. uh, and he they just Disney never hired him back. No. I'm pretty sure it was just maybe Billy Zane was too expensive to get him to voice three lines in a flashback or something. Yeah maybe. Some Kingdom Hearts message boards have a different theory. <laughs> that Billy Zane was blacklisted by Disney for his role in the movie Valley of the Wolves, Iraq. Have you heard of this movie? I have not heard of Valley of the Wolves. It is a 2006 Turkish action film where uh, it's about a Turkish commando team going to Iraq to track down the U.S. military commander responsible for the actual real-life hood event. Mm -hmm. uh, which was, like, it was a whole thing, but uh, surprise, the American military may have, you know, taken a bunch of Turkish soldiers prisoner for some reason. Um, and Billy Zane played the villain of that movie, the U.S. general. Sure. And, like, the uh, U.S. military told, like, soldiers, like, out on tour or whatever, out on tour, out on duty, like, if you're... You know, in like Turkey or some place that has a theater airing this movie, you cannot do not go see this movie. Don't you fucking dare. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's that the they think Disney space. just blacklisted him for being a very uh, quote unquote un-American movie, where Amer the, the American military world. is 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 the villain. This would not be a first, though. Yeah. Do you know the story of Sarah Stanley, uh, Oscar-winning screenwriter? Uh, no. So, back in the early 90s, uh, she was the star of The Road to Avonlea, which was a Disney Channel slash some Canadian network co-production mm. based on the expanded universe of Anne of Green Gables. Yeah. By the way, uh, Ansem is transformed into a giant airship made out of meat. Look at this Hell shit. yeah. And his stand is, like, evolved now, and he's attached to it via, like, power cable tentacles in his back. Look at this thing. Awesome. So <laughs> at, at a public event, uh, uh, Sarah Stanley wore, like, an anti-war t-shirt because this was during Desert Storm. Right, right. And she got fired! Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. And now she's an Oscar-winning screenwriter for Women Talking. Congratulations. There you go. We'll see, see who wins in the long term. Yeah. Also, uh, in, in uh, Valley of the Wolves, Gary Busey stars in that movie as a Jewish scientist doing, like, medical experiments on Turkish people or something. <laughs> so... That movie's got a lot going on in it. <laughs> so anyways, we are in the void where there's just a floating door that is the gate to Kingdom Hearts. 
uh -huh, the, uh -huh. the center of all worlds. And Ansem has sent both Goofy and Donald to hell. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'll get by. Yeah. Donald huh. has been Satan before. You know, that's true. That's true, actually. <laughs> uh, also, the big, like, double sword that Ansem has is actually the sword Riku had early, early in the game. Just, you know, it's two of them glued yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. I did like his cool Batwing sword. Yeah. And now there's a Darth Maul version of it, Hell so it's yeah. twice as good. <laughs> I like that Anta becomes huge, also. He's mm -hmm. like he's 20 feet tall now. Turn to darkness. So yeah, he has like a... In this phase of the fight, Ansem just does go on a loop of certain attacks, but it's kind of a long loop, so it's kind of hard to remember what he's going to do next. It's like this two times, followed by homing lasers, and this three times, and then he sh shoots little heartless bats at you, they drop health, and it's a whole thing. When you were talking about, like, Disney crossover things that remind you of Kingdom Hearts. I was mm -hmm. sure. I was sure you were going to talk about uh, the mobile game Disney Mirror verse. Oh, I think I talked about that in a. Pr no, no, I was thinking of something. I, I was thinking of something Th this else. This launched last year. Oh wait, no, Disney Mirror verse. Yeah, that is the thing where you can recruit Kermit and he's a bard in like magic armor, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 That was the game I was thinking about back then. I know nothing about it other than some of these wild character designs they made for it. <laughs> yeah, I, that's all I've ever seen of it, too. Probably all I ever will see of that game, but... Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy the idea of concept artists being tasked with, okay, we're making a gotcha mobile game where it's combat focus. Kermit the Frog has to do battle. Make him look like he can do battle. <laughs> Great, okay. All right, so I'm on the DisneyMirrorverse.com, and I'm looking at the list of guardians. They've just added Jasmine, the true-sighted symbol of the people. Whoa! <laughs> uh, and Tigger, the surprising storybook scout. Uh, oh, he's a scout, okay. He's a scout. Yeah. He's, he's got, like, a little adventure backpack and goggles <laughs> and, like, a, a cargo vest. Great. Hell yeah. Also, I love Ansem can, like, retreat into the ribcage of the big Heartless to protect himself. So yeah, the kind of like overarching thing you do in this boss fight is uh, slowly dismantle the entire Ansem airship piece by piece. <laughs> kind of reminds me- take you apart, old man. Yeah. And I mean that very literally. Kind of reminds me of that bin in Zone 2 where you have to blow up all those giant airships. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I just exploded one of Ansem's veins, but I'm not sure. I, it's, it's either you or the cholesterol. Somebody had to do it. Yeah. Now the ship has, like, art artillery on it you gotta destroy. <laughs> Weird wiggly artillery. Polyps? Ew. Yeah. Ew. It's kind of gross. Here. So yeah, earlier when I mentioned in the previous episode that there was a speedrun trick to kill the final boss quickly with Mushu, it's difficult to summon in this fight because you're flying, again. Gotta have your feet mm -hmm. firmly planted to summon. But if you go behind to, like, the back of this airship, there's a very small sliver of geometry that you can actually land on to summon Mushu. <laughs> and it's in a place where his attacks can't really hit you, and so you can just stand there as Mushu just shoots Ansem in the back of the head with fireballs. <laughs> Yeah, slowly rescuing the, the boys. We're in the pocket dimension made especially for Goofy. 
<laughs> the pocket dimension made especially for Goofy is just those those shorts where he was named George Geef and had an office job. Oh god, right. <laughs> Or maybe a never-ending game of football. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the explosion, Goofy. That makes you cooler. Why is Simba a Super Saiyan in this game? Jesus! What? He's, <laughs> he's got like a battle... He's got like a key aura around him or something? <laughs> It's, his mane is like bright yellow blonde. Oh and my god. His feet glow. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so now we gotta destroy the face. Which I, I kind of love how the way the face animates. <laughs> it's the most pissed off face you could make for a meat airship, I think. <laughs> it's, he's just upset because with a chin like that, he can't lean in to kiss anybody. Oh. Just pushes all, all everybody away. He's been traversing this void for eons, looking for another uh, for a lady airship. Yes. Come on. Or at least a dentist, please God. <laughs> yeah, even when you're very, very strong, the final boss fight takes a long time because yeah. there's so many yeah. health bars to annihilate. <laughs> Do you think Goofy will tell his, or Goofy or Donald will tell any of his, their friends or, or family about this crazy shit when they get back home? Is this something they, they take to their graves? <laughs> <laughs> well, what frame of reference does Uncle Scrooge have for this? Mm. Actually, probably Scrooge would get it. Yeah. The, the boys, not so much. Yeah. You probably just think he made it up, honestly. What, what are we blowing up here? Uh, just more heartless that are very hard to see. The, the, sure, it's the ones that sure. got the cool swords. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just got to wait for another vein or whatever to appear. <laughs> like so. Oh my goodness, they made... They made Aladdin into the Prince of Persia in this game. Ooh, okay. Specifically, like, Prince of Persia 2008, I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> Give me the 2003 version. Uh, I like that, like, the heart or generator of the, this airship is like a weird wibbly-wobbly Halloween decoration. Yes. So yeah, look, look at the, the skulls! Look at the little face it's got! Yeah! That's a jack-o'-lantern! Mm hmm I just love these skulls with, like, crowns on their heads on, the, on each side of it here. He spent so much money getting the perfect angry face on the bow. <laughs> the, everything in here is from Party City. Yeah. He was hoping no 12-year-old boy would get this far to, like, get up close to it. Usually, pretty safe bet. Yeah. Why is he so hot? <laughs> Why did they make him so hot? <laughs> You know, that is a hot guy pose. You're he, doing a hot guy pose. I mean, he also got new pants for this phase. And they're hotter <laughs> pants than what he had be before. They're hot guy pants! <laughs> you know, 
it's not super common, but every once in a while, there is a Tetsuya Nomura design villain who's just a hot guy with no shirt on. <laughs> also, the heat death of the universe is happening behind us or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just all hammering on this dude's hot guy chest. <laughs> Uh, so the, for the final phase, he's got one other new thing here. These little black orbs that I'm destroying on the, the guy mm -hmm. here. Uh, if those uh, just hang around, they just suck up all of your MP over time, which is why I have zero such MP. Is the power of Guardian Requiem. <laughs> yeah. Is this the answer? that hurt good now we've sealed away kingdom hearts the titular thing in kingdom <laughs> hearts and so now no one has to go in or worry about kingdom hearts mm -hmm. all the worlds are separate there will never be a crossover yay the keyblade alone cannot seal the door to darkness well what fucking can then <laughs> kingdom hearts fill me with the power of darkness. Fuck, what did we do then? Dream <laughs> darkness. You're wrong. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light. <gasps> is greenlit for a sequel. Oh, it turns out Kingdom Hearts is good, actually. Oh, no. This sucks. I, I kind of put my whole personality behind the idea that Kingdom Hearts was darkness. This sucks. I'm a shell of a man now. Goodbye. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, well, maybe they're paying in Turkey for something. <laughs> Come on. Could use a vacation. Yeah. I don't want to go to church. Close the door. <laughs> Whoa. There isn't even a design in the window. It's one of them weird, like, non-denominational, yeah. don't, don't actually believe in anything churches. They just like the music and potlucks. Yeah, they have a really impressive sound system, actually. I can't. Don't give up. Come on, So the realm of Kingdom Hearts is full Together of both light and the heartless. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Kingdom Hearts is a land of contrast. <laughs> not say that shit around Sora. <laughs> He's gonna do a big speech about it and we need him to focus on the task. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> now, Sora, let's close this door for good. The Keyblade alone cannot close the door, but two Keyblades. Ooh. Be a door to the light. Sora, you can trust King Mickey. Now, they're coming. Donald, Goofy, thank you. Take care of her. Okay, well, I hope you like living in the center of the universe with King Mickey. I... It's okay, Sora. I have a much more famous friend. I <laughs> traded up. <laughs> Sora, I've decided to become a clout chaser. Oh, no. He's fallen to the darkness again. <laughs> I thought he learned his lesson. All 
right, so Ansem is destroyed, mm -hmm. and the great uh, mystical, multifaceted, un uh, uh, misunderstood power that is Kingdom Hearts yes. is sealed away, <laughs> never to be used to, to wreak destruction again. Mm -hmm. It's a simple game for babies. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> the first game is really, yeah. It's a simple plot, and it's fine. I like it. How did you get here? <laughs> Wait, who's this? <laughs> oh, uh, I... I think she lived down the road? I forget. Is that one of Riku's other friends? Uh, cousin something. I don't know. Something. She was at his birthday party. I didn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Kairi! Sora! Ah! Kairi! Remember what you said before? I'm always with you too. I'll come back to you. I promise! I know you will! You walk away, you don't hear you have to be reunited as side-by-side -side bed spreads in a <laughs> Japanese hotel room. Only $700, or whatever it was. <laughs> that was sudden. <laughs> that was very mm -hmm. sudden. <laughs> So somehow I never mentioned it. We, there was just so much to cover at the very, very start of the first episode of this LP that I never mentioned that, hey, this, this song, Simple and Clean, is done by uh, Utada Hikaru, very popular pop artist in Japan. Uh, she's singing the English version as well. Excuse me, not she, they. Um, if I remember correctly, there's some interview where they said, mm -hmm. that, like, oh, yeah, I translated the song to English, too, and I just chose, like, complete nonsense. It doesn't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds good. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of Disney properties. Well, it's happy 100th birthday, company. <laughs> you know, companies have birthdays. It's oh, not yeah. weird. It's not weird at all. Yep. Bunch of real stinkers out there though yeah one of those shooting stars is zombies three no one wants that <laughs> yeah. get out of here smart house fuck off uh, so one thing that's always bugged me you know uh, obviously uh Kyrie does not get like she barely gets any moments in this game and the whole series just treats Kyrie badly she almost never gets shit to do it sucks uh so I think it's weird that the whole ending is focused on Kairi. Well, nothing else is. She's <laughs> due. Yeah, it's true. Eat this. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> remembering the good times when she was force fed to break her hunger strike. <laughs> oh. oh. It's a little cute. Uh, and yes, a little bit further into the credits here, we will also get a bunch of like short little video mini endings for a bunch of the Ooh. other like Disney characters. And also Final Fantasy characters. Uh, well, while we're in the credits, mm -hmm. I just want to thank everybody for, for joining us on this, for watching. This has been a fun one. It's been a pretty relaxing one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Digging a, a video a five out of a five-year-old a, a bin, a trunk. That, you know, I really like just having an LP I could just pull out of my hat from from five years ago. Like, But no, this is, this is a fun game to talk about. I've, I've had oh, a very absolutely. good time. Uh, obviously, it's clear which aspects of it really charmed me, mm -hmm. and what didn't was 
man, you could cut all of the HP in half toward the end. I agree. I, I wouldn't mind. I agree. There's there's just certain guys that are just like, man, it's a lot of HP bars. <laughs> but uh, feel free to ch uh, check out other things on this channel. Go uh, listen to Bizarre Podcast, Dogs Must mm -hmm. Die. Uh, you can find me making other stuff like Sex Archie. Right now we are toward the middle, I would guess. Maybe even toward the end of the final season, oh season seven of Riverdale. I've uh, been talking about that for all seven seasons, week to week. Uh, you can also go check out sixfeetsunder.com. That's S-I-X-F-E-A-T-S-U-N-D-E-R. That's, that's S -I -X -F -E -A -T -S -U -N -D -E -R. Dot com. We are currently in a Star Wars miniseries playing a Ooh. Galactic Second Edition with the uh, uh, Scum and Villains expansion. It is called, uh, we just named it. It is called Renegade Scum. Mm. And uh, at time of recording, we just uh, uh, did a session zero. But by the time you're hearing this, we're probably in full swing on that one. Mm hmm. Something I forgot to mention is that uh, the the three quote unquote mainline games, Kingdom Hearts one, two, and three, they mm -hmm. all have a main theme done by Utada Hikaru, mm -hmm. and it turns out Kyrie, you know, uh, Kyrie is features in all those games, and her hairstyle is different in each game. They actually model Kyrie's hairstyle on whatever is the current hairstyle Utada has, like while touring, <laughs> or, like while she made that song, which is, I think is cute. That's. That's something. Yeah. Now, of course... Oh, right. Forgot that they actually do wrap up the whole cloud looking for somebody thing. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm hmm There you go. There you go. Jimmy Cricket does nothing. No! Jimmy Cricket does nothing! He he keeps track of the puppies. Which puppies <laughs> I found. Which admittedly is pretty useful, but... But then that job was over. Yeah. <laughs> Jiminy... There was, there was just a Pinocchio scene and no Jiminy Cricket in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. They acknowledged there was romance there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's getting spicy. Whoa. So like, hey kids, where'd you go when the world, <laughs> did, were, did you go somewhere else or were you just gone? Do you remember that happening? Who do you think Taardus was the whole time? <laughs> uh, so of course. Big oh. thank you to Taardus, by the way. Oh yes. Re really gave us a, a load of assistance through this whole thing. <laughs> and Jonas. Yes, Jonas and, uh, Oh, no, I think it was just Targus and, and Chonus. I was going to make a Pangus, but I don't think I ever got around to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, while the credits are running right now, there's still a little bit after the credits because the game has a, a normal after credits sequence. Mm -hmm. um, we've gotten all of the Dalmatians, which means we have unlocked the game's secret ending. And because this is the final mix release, we've also unlocked the secret, secret ending. Hell yes. <laughs> I guess while I'm going back to the plug section, while I still can, mm -hmm. uh, uh, please don't forget that this Let's Play and all of our projects together are uh, supported by our Patreon that is linked at the end of every video. Mm -hmm. So, hey, I'm mentioning it. Yeah. Patreon. Okay, this shit right here, <laughs> uh -huh. I fucking hate this shit. What's that? I, I hate that uh, Disney's uh, uh, voice actors are discredited as voice actors and yes. not matching them to their roles. It's fucking bullshit. I don't yes. know how they're allowed to get away with that. I, I have noticed that before and also have not liked seeing that. God, and they've been doing it for that long, too. Well, they've been doing it forever. I don't think they have acknowledged, I mean, particularly the classic shorts characters, right? Like Mickey and right. Pats. Acknowledge them as being tied to human beings any more than they're legally required to ever. Hmm. 
To the point that, like, I'm kind of surprised that, like, Brian Blessed for existence was in that big list without a, like, as uh, uh, Clayton or whatever. That Yeah. That's also strange to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also just on the video game side of things, there's a part where they credited the QA and it looked like it was like QA leads and then it just said dot 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 and all of our QA testers. Boo! Boo! <laughs> That's a real game dev job. Fuck you. Credit all of them. I don't care if it <laughs> makes the credits take 20 minutes longer. I mean, on the one hand, that is industry standard. Yeah. Sec on the other hand, it's a shitty standard that he's changed. It sure changed. is. Look, I've talked with and hung out with a bunch of QA people at my job, and they fucking work too much. QA people don't deserve any of the shit they get. It's a fucking hard job. Why does it sound like all of these people are graduating? Why is that the mood of the song? We graduated from the first game. We got our diploma to start understanding extended lore. Pomp and Circumstance is one of the numbers in Fantasia 2000. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would call it the worst segment in Fantasia mm. 2000. <laughs> the Rites of Spring is so good, though. So really crazy for this final cutscene, they got Goofy and Donald in like one of their old outfits. <gasps> yes, <laughs> yes, the adventure is done. We can just hang. Yeah. We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. You think Donald Duck is King Mickey's navy? Like mm. he's the only person in it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Huh? Ah. Pluto? Hey, Pluto! Where have you been? Huh? In the <coughs> castle where he lives! Oh, that's the king's seal! Hey, have you seen King Mickey? No, 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 sorry, that's your Smash Bros. <laughs> invitation. Don't. <laughs> you gotta get that back, get that back! <laughs> Imagine if he did. He was in, like. Let's go. What it would be at least two more Smash games. <laughs> or yeah, two two games earlier. Yeah. God, Sora showing up in like the 3DS Smash. Oh my God. But because it's the 3DS one, it's based on like this. There's a card battle, Kingdom Hearts. Oh right? yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the move set they can. Oh my God. <laughs> What a nightmare that would be to play. So. Who, any, who, who so, says this? So that is fucking Mickey Mouse saying all that shit. <laughs> Anytime you get that like unknown voice talking just through someone's mind, it's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Anyways, the first, the first secret ending. <laughs> Time to get edgy. Oh my god, we already played this game! <laughs> this is... this is the, the... Sector 6 or whatever, upstairs. Yep. I, I hope those robes are, are weatherproof, mm. you know? Yeah. I wouldn't mind an ankle-length uh, uh, raincoat. That sounds kind of all right. <laughs> yeah. Are you 10? You're probably extremely psyched that dude is dual-wielding key plates. So while, yeah, the plot of the first Kingdom Hearts is a very simple story, uh, Kingdom Hearts has been on its bullshit from the first game. It just hides it until the very end. <laughs> this just looks like a wiki exploding. Yes! That's exactly what it is! So yes, that was the secret ending in the original release of Kingdom Hearts. 
Then the final mix version came out in Japan, and there is a new secret ending that Americans could only, and everyone else outside Japan could only watch by downloading it very slowly off of a Kingdom Hearts fan site, low resolution and shitty bitrate, <laughs> and playing it in real media player, which is what I did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> This is cute, though. I yeah. like this. It's a, it's a cute illustration. A lot of people dunk on Tetsuya Nomura, but I think his art style is pretty good. I like it a lot. And for all the shitting on him and his zippers, it's because a lot of his illustrations reflect, like, streetwear trends in Japan and stuff at the time. So yeah, a lot of the times these secret endings that you would unlock Kingdom Hearts will give you lots of little out of context phrases and lines of dialogue, and they're essentially just like whatever the mood board for the next game is. They haven't figured anything out. They've just written down lots of stuff that sounds cool. The the presentation of it though, the, the way they pop in through all these different sorts of distortion is very of its time. This is absolutely yes. laser focused on this console generation. Yep. And even that is too wide a window, I think. Teeth and some reports. <laughs> I love that in the previous secret ending, one of the like random bits of dialogue that goes by is just someone shouting, Your Majesty, but why? As if King Mickey just like murdered somebody in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 King Mickey just like raised taxes on, on people's uh, uh, like uh, boat launch uh, landings. Even Mickey's in the fucking coat. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Goth <laughs> Mickey. Goth Mickey. <laughs> when the rain falls, it falls on everyone. <laughs> Gotta stay dry, haha. -ha. Oh the, man. The true true? I have to write so many message board posts about that last line. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. That is the Kingdom Hearts experience. <laughs> so one more thing. Again, there is a big disclaimer at the start of this Let's Play saying there's no obligation to do Let's Plays of the entire series. If you ever did any others, sure, that'd be fun, whatever. I will say, though, while I was in my depressive episode recording all of Kingdom Hearts, I also recorded all of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, the PlayStation 2 remake of the Game Boy Advance game, which takes place between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. It's already on my hard drive, fully edited. <laughs> <laughs>